Hey everybody, Anne here, and it's kind of cold and damp out of the lake today, so I don't know that I'll get a lot of outdoor stuff done, but it is a perfect day for potato soup, and not the kind of potato soup that Progresso makes. This is yummy potato soup. So yeah, this is all that I use to make it. I'm going to use some milk, and that's reconstituted non-fat dry milk. Of course, the potato got a little bit of turmeric there. I got some salt, pepper, garlic, little sprinkle parmesan cheese, a little margarine, and some cheddar cheese. So let's get to making. Okay, the first thing we gotta do is chop up the potato. I'm just using one big one because it's gonna be just for me. And I know you all know how to chop a potato, so I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do the whole thing. But yes, I leave the skin on. I don't care if it gets all floaty in there. Um, but yeah, that's about as big as I chop it up. It's going into the pot. And let me chop the rest of it, and then we'll add the rest. This is going to be so good. Okay, just going to add the rest of these to the pan. And let me get my little stove up. First thing I'm going to add is some water. I'm going to put about, mm, let's see here, that's very close to enough because I'm going to add some more liquid a little bit later when I add the milk. Um, yeah, just a little bit more. Okay, we're going to start this baby up. Hopefully I don't blow everything up. Almost. I'm going to get this to a boil. Um, let me turn that down a little bit. You don't need to set this whole place on fire. Okay. Stir it, stir it, stir it. And next we're going to add a little bit of pepper. I love pepper. I'm going to have to get some more pepper, too. I'm running out. That almost does it. I need to save some for the steak later today or tomorrow. And garlic. I'm going to have to get some more garlic, too. I love garlic. We need some salt. Just a teeny bit more because I don't have the flavor of a bone broth in there. And I always add turmeric to my soup, so we're going to add a little bit of turmeric. Might give it a, a weird color. I don't care. I do not care. It's just a little dash. Turmeric's very good for you. Let's give that a little stir. Maybe bringing this to a boil. I chose red potatoes this time. You can use any potato you want. Um, these were just on sale, so that's what I'm using. All right, next I'm going to use some blue bonnet. Oh, yikes. <laughs> I'll learn how to film eventually. At least I've got it standing up on something. Just a little bit, not too much. Whoops, splattering around. Because this is just going to be enough for me and my puppy now. A lot of times I'll add uh, onions to it. I'll chop some onions up and, and put them in there. But I am not going to do that this time. Because Betty's going to eat it and dogs really aren't supposed to have onions. Okay, so I'm going to let that cook for a little while. I'm going to bring it to a boil. And let it simmer until the potatoes are soft, and then I'll add the milk and the cheese and let it cook a little bit longer. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we got it boiling now. I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Give it a little stir. Put the lid on. And we are, oops, that's loose. We're going to let it simmer, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, however long it takes. 
Okay, it's been simmering for a little while, and the potatoes are nice and soft. See, this is what I mean about floaty. I don't care. I eat them. I eat the peels, and it's just fine. Um, they got a lot of nutrition in them. Don't throw that those peels out. They're good for you. But, yeah, see how it's it, the potatoes are <clears throat> excuse me, nice and soft? So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add my milk. I think that's enough. Let's see here. Let me see. Let's see. <clears throat> I go by look. Yeah, that's enough. Alrighty, got to increase the heat. Because we've got to bring that back up to a boil. I mean, not a, like a huge boil. We just need to get it going a little bit again. And I spilled some milk, and I'm not going to cry. <laughs> Alrighty, so that milk was really cold too, so it's going to take a little bit to get this back up and going again. And we must not forget the cheese. You can never have too much cheese. Now I don't have any bacon, um, you know, bacon bits, bacon grease for flavoring or anything like that. If I had bacon I wouldn't be using the margarine, I'd just be using a little bit of bacon grease. But I don't have that. That's okay. You make do with what you have. Okay, I can already feel that starting to thicken up a little bit, and I haven't used any flour or cornstarch this time around. I'm not going to use a thickening agent. So, it may be a little thin, but I don't care. It's still going to be very, very delicious. All right. We got to bring that back up to a nice simmer but I'm going to use a little bit more cheese just because, like I said, I don't have bone broth. I'm in a van and I, <laughs> I have nowhere to store bone broth. I'm going to have to can some of it sometime, get a chicken, just let it, the kitchen simmer all day. Yeah, that's enough. And strain it and uh, make some bone broth. All righty. Oh yeah, we need to turn down this heat, definitely. Okay, so we're just going to kind of keep stirring this at this point because I don't want anything to burn on the bottom. Uh, reduce the heat, let it go for 10-15 minutes or until it's as thick as you want it. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. About to add my sprinkle cheese. I knew something was missing. That'll just give it a little extra flavor. If you had bone broth or bouillon or something like that, that is totally going to be fine. All right, this, this is basically done. I'm going to stir it just a little bit longer. Oh, that's wonderful. Yep, I'm just going to turn off this heat, stir it, put it in a little bowl, and taste it. I think I'm just going to try and pour it in there a little bit. I could have cooked it a little bit longer, but I think this will be fine. Alrighty, can I do this without getting it all over the place? I think so. One thing I did notice is this cheese, um, it didn't separate exactly right, but it's okay. Um, it's an expensive cheese. And I didn't use a thickening, thickening agent. Um, but if you look at this, also when the, the um, margarine melts, it kind of separates too a little bit. But uh, you can make it so that it's thicker. Uh, use some flour or cornstarch or whatever 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and taste this and see what it tastes like. I'm pretty sure it's going to be delicious. Alrighty, can I do this without spilling it all over the place? Here, let me do it this way. Mmm, 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 mmm. This truly is delicious. It is good. Um, I didn't have the most expensive ingredients. I didn't have bacon. I didn't have bone broth. All I had is some potatoes, some cheese, and a few sprinkles of this, that, and the other. And I have to tell you that it is just really, really good. So that's my potato soup. Uh, not the best potato soup I've ever made, but it is still really, really yummy. Mm, I gotta tell you guys, I shouldn't sell myself so short. This soup actually has a lot of flavor. Very, very tasty. Very tasty. I should sell this. <laughs> Let me take one more bite, and then I'll leave you alone. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed watching Cooking Potato Soup with Anne's Tiny Life. Y'all have a good one.